In this video, I am going to talk about how you can set up multiple graphs on a single page and how you can actually create multiple pages uh, to help you organize your data. So uh, let's, uh, let me check my hardware setup. Looks like we're good there. Okay, set, uh, set up a table, time, and we'll go position. It's my card again. Make sure I have a position versus time graph. Okay, again, let me narrow this one down a little bit so I can see more of the graph. Okay, so I'll take my cart and I'll put it on the track and I'm going to uh, release it. So I'll press record. And I got my data there. Okay, so right now I have, let me zoom it. So right now I have position versus time data. So I can also look at velocity versus time and acceleration versus time. So up in the toolbar here, there's an icon that looks like two arrows, one vertical and horizontal, looks like a graph. So if I click it, it'll add a second graph right below it. And I can say this is velocity versus time. And so I can, and these, these when I drag this around, the time axes are locked, so they move together in tandem, which is good. And if I click it again, I can choose acceleration versus time. So I can have an acceleration versus time graph, and I can drag it down and scale it separately. Um, so it's a nice feature, it just uh, uh, stacks the graphs. So you can take a look at them on corresponding uh, time axes. If you want to get rid of a graph, notice how each graph when I click it has a blue outline. So if I want to delete one, I, make, I click on it, make sure I see the blue outline, that I can click the delete button. Click on this one, make sure I have the delete button. And so I can get back uh, where I started with. Okay. Um, you also have different pages you can work with. So right now I'm on page one. If I double click it, I can rename it trial one, let's say. And if I click in the gray area, you see nothing happens here. I got to click in the white area that locks it in. Right next to the uh, that page one was a is an icon. And if I click it, add page, I can click a second page. Uh, I'll say trial, oops, trial two, or hit enter. I just hit enter just then. Okay, so I'll set up another table and graph, and I'll say time and position and you can see it actually pulls up that run number one. So it actually pulls that data up, and here's the graph for it, okay? Uh, but maybe this one, I just want to see the full page of velocity versus time. I just want to analyze that. So I could have a page, one for position, one for velocity, and so forth. Uh, I should probably should rename those, but you get the idea. Um, and then, of course, I want to delete a page. I just click that button there. So. Uh, those are the two features that you'll find useful in Capstone or adding graphs with this little icon with the vertical and horizontal arrows. That adds a second graph where I can tell it what I want to look at, or I can add a page to help me uh, organize my data.